In this video, we will see about rest and rest seats which are part of cast partial denture. Removable partial denture are in turn as we know consists of the following parts connectors retainers denture base along with the artificial teeth connectors are in turn classified as major connectors and minor connectors retainers can be either direct retainers or indirect retainers among the direct retainer there are three parts rest retentive arm and reciprocal arm so what are the rest and rest seats it will be seen in detail in this video According to the definition, rests are rigid extension of RPD that prevents movements towards mucosa and transmits the functional forces to the teeth. So, it is the part of the RPD that contacts the tooth and helps in transmitting the force to the tooth, that is the abutment tooth. The rest seed is prepared space, prepared recess in the tooth or restoration created to receive the rest. The rest can be either occlusal rest, incisal or cingulum or lingual rest. What are the functions of rest? It provides support. It is its primary function as it prevents movement towards the tissues. It also helps in indirect retention. It provides stability, prevents tooth migration and also prevents food impaction that is near the abutment teeth and also helps in force transfer along the long axis of the tooth. This is important to prevent dislodgement of the processes at the same time distributing, distributing the force. So, the classification of the rests can be either primary or secondary depending on the position. If it is attached to clasp assembly, it is primary rest. If it is away placed away from the clasp assembly, it is secondary rest. The main function of primary rest is support. The main function of secondary rest is indirect retention. So, it could be also classified based on the area of placement. If it is placed at the occlusal surface, it is occlusal rest. If it is in the incisal surface, it is in the uh, it is in, uh, incisal rest. If it is placed in the lingual or cingulum aspect, it is the lingual or cingulum rest. Now, let us see how to fabricate an occlusal rest. Uh, as per definition, it is the rigid extension of the RPD that contacts the occlusal surface of the prepared tooth. Now, this outline form of the occlusal rest resembles a rounded triangle with a base towards the marginal ridge and the apex towards the center of the tooth. And it follows the shapes of the mesial or distal fossa as you could see here. In the, uh, and the dimension is as follows. Mesio distally it forms one third to one half of the MD, mesio distal diameter. And buccolingually it is half of the buccolingual diameter that is between the cusp tips. The depth is the deepest in the center and it is spoon or saucer shaped as you could see here. The angle between the rest and the minor connector is less than 90 degree. It helps in the directing occlusal forces perpendicularly to the tooth. When angle is greater than 90 degree, inclined plane effect will set in and processes slips. And we should also remember that the minimum thickness should be 0.5 mm at least and it is 1 to 1 1.5 mm near the ridges that is at this part. Moving on to the second type of list, uh, rest, lingual or cingulum rest. As you could see here, it is given in the cingulum, above the cingulum. It fits on the tooth's lingual surface, that is the other uh, tooth is the abutment. It is used if anterior teeth has a gradual lingual slope like maxillary canine. And advantages of the lingual rest when compared to the incisal rest are many. Uh, but uh, eventually, uh, when we sum up the advantages, occlusal rest forms the best type of rest. When occlusal rest cannot be given, we go for lingual rest before considering incisal rest. The lingual rest is placed near the center of rotation, therefore no tipping. And it is more aesthetic as no, uh, it is not exposed facially and breakage is less. And the outline form is half moon shaped or V shaped. It has two inclines, labial incline and lingual incline. When viewed palatally, it shows the inverted V shape appearance. The rest seat is broadest at the center. Moving on to the next type of rest that is the incisal rest. It contacts the tooth at the incisal edge. It is the rigid part of the RPD that contacts the tooth at the incisal edge. Therefore, the name incisal rest. It is the least desirable position. As you see, it is half exposed on the 
facial surface and it is never recommended on cast restorations. And here the main function of the incisal rest is indirect uh, retention. It is generally used in mandibular canine and uh, if incisors are considered, multiple rests are advocated. Mesio incisal and a disto incisal line angle is the place where it, it is given. The proximo incisal line angle uh, should be away 1.5 to 2 mm from the uh, rest seat. Small V-shaped notch is given as you could see here. It extends on the facial surface also. To finish it off, we should know the depth. That is, it should be at least 1.5 mm and 2.5 mm wide. The deepest part is towards the center of the tooth. So, these are the basic concepts to know about occlusal rest, cingulum rest and incisal rest. We will see in the next video about more about direct retainers. Thank you.